Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. The subject or theme for this reading is going to be should I wait for them or would it be better to you know look what else is out there. So we have six piles today um, to choose from since I have my camcorder now I can record longer videos so I'm very happy to be able to do um, six piles for you. The cards that we're using today um, we're using one card from the Messenger Oracle, um, three cards from the Gilded Deck, and one card from the Gypsy Playing Cards. So rather than using icons I've just numbered each pile um, so I'm going to give you a minute to pick uh, which pile you're drawn towards. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink of water, so I'll give you a minute. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, let's see, should you wait for this person or should you look and see what else is out there? So the first card that you got is some money. The next card that you got is the queen of wands. The next card that you got is the devil card. The next card that you got is the ten of swords. And the final card that you got is Honor Gaia in Reverse. So, I think if you pick this pile, um, I think what you should focus on right now is, is earning money, you know, whatever you do to earn money, whatever your job is, I think you need to focus on that. I also think that you need to get back in touch with nature. Um, even if it's winter time, um, I think you need to get out there and spend some time outside in the fresh air. So when you're not working, I think you need to be outside. I think that um, the person that you're thinking about waiting for I don't think that they are in a place where they can really offer you any sort of relationship. I think that relationship has ended because of their behavior. I feel like their behavior was, it was probably kind of violent at some points. They could have snapped at you. I feel like they were very controlling. Um, they were excessive when you were with them. And I'm pretty sure it's because they were very attracted to you and they they wanted to control you. They wanted to control your every move. They were afraid that if you were talking to someone else um, that you would end up with them. So I think ultimately it is this person's downfall that this relationship ended. Um, so I don't think you should really wait around for this person um, because it has ended with them and their behavior was not something that would have been good for you. I feel like you deserve better than that. Um, so what this is really telling me is that you need to spend some time outside in nature just connecting with the animals with the plants um, and also you could be struggling right now financially I feel like there's some problems that you've had it's like uh, living paycheck to paycheck or something like that 
I think you need to focus on being the provider. If you're, you know, this is about Mother Earth, how she's her, our provider. Um, I think you need to focus on the home life, um, being a mother, if you are a mother. Um, you need to be more loving to those around you and also to yourself. Um, I think when you are in this relationship, uh, you were a little bit afraid of this person or the way that they made you feel, I think it was just, it could have been kind of scary. I think you're aware of that. I think you're aware of this person and they probably made you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I think intuitively you already knew that this person really wasn't good for you. And what you need to focus on is, you know, um, overcoming obstacles in your own life. Um, it could be daunting right now. There could be a lot of pressure on you financially and you know this time of year if you're watching this you know after the holidays I feel like probably your money has decreased you spent money on you know your loved ones and you can probably feel the pressure of that so I think what you need to do is really focus on your finances um, overcoming your own obstacles um, being a good mother, um, connecting with nature, embracing your feminine too, honoring Gaia. Um, it's also about the feminine. Um, I feel like, you know, focus on yourself and you can manifest a new relationship at some point, but I still think this old relationship is caught up in your thoughts and you need to stop focusing on it because I don't think it was a very positive thing. You need to focus on more positive things and, you know, learn to be happy again, learn to laugh again. I feel like this could have been a really ugly, bad relationship. And if you keep dwelling on that, then, you know, you're not going to be able to live a happy life. So I feel like, um, just focus on yourself right now is my advice if you picked pile number one. So, um, I want to do a yes, no for you. So if you have an additional question, um, I want to do a yes, no for you. So think of your question. If you have to pause it, then pause it. Um, but focus on your question. Okay, so you got yes. I'm not sure what you asked, but the answer is yes. Okay, if you picked pile number two, should you wait for the person you're thinking about or should you move on and look for new opportunities? Let's look at your cards. You got the thief card. You got the wheel of fortune. You got the nine of wands in reverse. You got the queen of pentacles. And you got surrender to the flow. Okay, so if you pick number two, I think they're, um, the person that you're thinking about, I think that they, they're not a very trustworthy person. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think they're very trustworthy. Um, with the thief card, I feel like they could have been lying to you. Um, they could have been sneaking around and you weren't aware of it. Um, so I don't think they're very trustworthy. I think that they would just <clears throat> kind of steal your peace, your peace of mind, if you were to 
kind of go back with this person. I feel like there are big changes coming in for you in your life. Um, so I think that uh, it's just a destiny that you kind of move away from that person, the person that was a liar, a thief, um, a sneaky. I think it's just natural that you're going to move away from this person. The, the Wheel of Fortune is all about big changes. And I think that <clears throat> there are other people out there that will support you where I feel like this person, they really didn't give you much of their time. I feel like they didn't really support you. If anything, they left you alone. They left you burdened on your own. And I feel like um, you have people that really... Um, want to be there for you I feel like but you're kind of weak right now I feel like you feel like you can't like move on it could be from this relationship where this person didn't support you they didn't really care about your needs and I think you have trouble kind of moving on from that relationship and it's kind of like it's sapped your strength I feel like and, you know, I think you put all of your eggs in that basket, like your hopes and your dreams were really placed on this person. And I think it's just, it was unrealistic that you really kind of thought that this person would support you long term, support your dreams. And I think you should have hesitated before you kind of went along with this person and trusted this person um, because now I think it's kind of just it's totally sapped you you just you feel like you just can't even you don't even have the courage to move on to even try a new relationship um, but you know I think with the Wheel of Fortune here the universe is really kind of um, supporting you moving forward supporting change in your life and if you're the feminine with the Queen of Pentacles here, I think that you are going to learn to be on your own and be that strong woman, um, that strong, independent woman who is successful, who is solid, who is very practical. And with card number 44, you know, fours are about stability. 44 only intensifies that so I think you are going to get back to a place where you feel stable again I think with the wheel of fortune you're moving in a new direction now that it's 2020 I think it's going to be much more positive so just go with the flow and move forward and be that confident you know woman if you're a woman be confident and know yourself know yourself and know that you deserve better than to be lied to, to be deceived. Um, just pay attention, you know. I feel like there were red flags. Like, there were, this person had a lot of shadow qualities to them. And I feel like you didn't want to be judgmental. If you're like the queen of, of pentacles, then you're not judgmental. You're like the best friend, the girl next door, um, you just look at people and you expect, you know, the beautiful people, the beautiful world around you, and you really, you, you don't sense the negative in people, whereas I think you felt like the shadow qualities coming from this person, um, but you chose to kind of ignore it. But I think in 2020, you're kind of realizing now um, that it's time to move forward and to choose a better direction um, and loosen up the grip on trying to hold on to things that the universe is trying to move away from you. Just trust that you're going exactly where you need to be and that sometimes you need to let go of control and move in a new direction that is not your choice because maybe your choice was a little naive 
you know I feel like that uh, this person you were trying to endure like all that this person did to you but I feel like it just kind of still got to you so let go I feel like you need to let go and then you're gonna become stronger you're gonna become much stronger so I did a yes no for the first pile so I want to do the same thing for you number two so think of your question and then we'll get a yes no for you if you have to pause it go ahead and pause it okay so number two as you can see you got no so um, the answer is no whatever you asked um, that is the answer okay so if you picked pile number three should you stay and wait for this person or should you move ahead and look for new opportunities out there okay the first card that you got is the misfortune card the second card that you got is the seven of swords the next card that you got is the Two of Wands. The next card that you got is the Nine of Pentacles. And the final card is card number 20, Know Your Fears. Okay, number three. So, you Know Your Fears, that's a very good card. Um, I feel like you do have a lot of fears and it could stem from um, you know what you've been through okay I feel like you've been through literally hell and back you've had these traumatic experiences that you've been through that you've seen and because of that I feel like you're kind of you're not trusting I feel like all of the misfortune that you've been through um, and I don't think it's because you know you deserve this you really didn't deserve what you've been through um, it's just you know you're so fearful I feel like you're so fearful of taking you know a risk taking um, a next step and there's a good reason for your fear okay there's a very good reason for your fear because everything that you've been through um, wow you could have survived like um, near-death experience some of you out there um, there could have been someone that was very harmful to you I feel like they had negative thoughts towards you they could have acted on them there could have been someone that really was dangerous you were with someone this could be the person you're asking about this could be a different person but it was very dangerous when you were with this person and you you made it out okay you made it out alive but I feel like um, this person was no good for you at all. They could have stole from you. They could have actually hurt you quite badly. And um, now you just question every decision that you make and you doubt yourself and you fear actual success because of probably this person that you're with, like, probably when you first got with them it was really good and then you know their dark side came out and I, I don't know if you just accepted it or you felt like you were there was no way out but you got out alive and now it's 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 limiting your ability to move forward because of your shadow you know period that you went through you could still be going through this and 
so now I feel like you, every time you get at a crossroads, like if you're in a new relationship or you're just dating someone, I feel like you kind of back out of it. You kind of back out of it. Even if things are going good, I feel like you always just back out of it because I don't know if your expectations are to be treated that way again. And you doubt, you know, your judgment on people now. And you fear success. And you just want to be good on your own. I feel like you want to be that independent person that doesn't need anybody. Because I feel like when you, you relied on someone, they treated you badly. And so now it's like... You don't want to ever have to rely on anybody again. So, I feel like you even probably have nightmares about this. And I think that you wish that you never even met this person, whoever they were. I don't know why I'm feeling like this person, um, it was hard to breathe. Like, cause I see all of this, this smoke and I, I'm almost feeling like, like it's hard to breathe. Oh God. I don't know. Some of you out there pay attention to how you feel because maybe you didn't trust yourself when you met this person and you got down that road and you, and you felt like you couldn't back out and they wouldn't, maybe they wouldn't let you back out of this relationship and now it's like when you look back in hindsight you feel like I wish I never met that person it's okay it's okay to feel that way but don't stop living your life because of what you've been through you know know your fears and move beyond them okay shine a light upon them see them for all that they were and don't don't question your judgment on people just because of this one person um i feel like you're too cautious now so let go number three is what i'm feeling um that's not gonna resonate for everybody i don't know who i was channeling but i was definitely channeling someone out there so let's do your yes no pause it if you need more time Okay, so you got yes, so whatever you're asked, um, the answer is yes, number three. Okay. Number four, let's hope for a little lighter energy here with number four. Yikes. Okay, so should you wait for this person, whoever they are, Uh, again for that okay you've got the loss card you've got the three of wands you've got the ten of cups you've got the six of cups and you've got pe be patient wow okay so I really do think that you reminisce about this person, whoever you've come here about. I think that um, you do feel the loss of this person. I think that it really gets to you. I think you think about your past and then you think about your future and it's like you want this person there. And I feel like you're, you're tired of being patient is what I'm getting here and waiting around for this person it feels like you've been waiting forever um, for this person is what I'm feeling and it's like I'm tired of being patient you know I this person isn't doing anything they're just you know they've turned their back on you and I think you're really frustrated and you're impatient um, but I feel like you shouldn't 
I should I feel like you shouldn't move on um, I think you should just wait and see and give it more time for it to manifest I think that um, trust that it's gonna it's gonna happen when it's time so just don't do anything right now and try to let go of your frustration your impatience um, you had great times with this person. You have really good memories of being with this person. Um, I think you, you know, you're, you're just thinking about this person and how they, they won't come back to you. I feel like, um, you, you really do feel the loss of this person and you're, you're picturing a happy future with this person you're picturing you know living with this person um, loving this person spending the rest of your life with this person um, and I feel like your patience is just running out um, waiting for this person so it's like this is the person of your dreams and you're hoping that things will work out um, you could miss this per person, the joy that they brought you. Maybe they brought a smile on your face and you miss, you know, embracing them. And you really wish to create that whole thing over again. But I think if you do wait, I think this person will come back to you. I think they're really thinking about their future as well. And they're also feeling the loss of this connection. So actually, I do think that if you wait, don't act, um, your dreams could come true. I really think that, you know, being impatient isn't going to be good for you. Trust, have faith. Um, you know, this person, they do love you, okay? That's what these cards are saying here. This person, they do love you. Maybe they regret going away. Um, don't blame yourself, you know, if this person went away. I feel like um, they need to heal before they can move forward. But I don't doubt that this person will come back to you. I really don't. I really strongly think that they will. So let me do um, a yes, no for you because I did that for all the other piles. So number four, think of your question. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask number four, the answer is yes. Okay, so number five, should you wait for this person or should you move forward, look for other people, start dating? Let's look at your cards. We'll also do a yes, no. Okay, you've got the constancy card. You've got the higher font. You've got the eight of swords. You've got the Two of Cups, and you've got You Were Born to Create. Okay, so I think that you and this person both think about each other. I think you guys both think about each other a lot um, with the Two of Cups. I think it was a really strong romance. I think it was kind of like um it was a love of the lifetime I think it was fulfilling I think that you and this person had th like this divine bond is what I'm I'm getting from you know this um rainbow of light and I really do think that you wanted to marry this person with the higher font card I think that you wanted this religious 
ceremony with this person. I think that you, you're you very traditional. I think you're obedient to, you know, your religion, whatever that may be. And I think that you were taught, maybe, that you need to get married, you know, in life. Um, a lot more people are not getting married. They're just, you know, living together. But I think that you really, you're very traditional. You're very old school and you believe in marriage. And I think when you met this person, you really were hoping that it would lead to that because I feel like you really had a lot of love for this person. And I think that it was constant. I think that it didn't waver. And with the Eight of Swords here, I don't know what these obstacles are because there are obstacles, okay? And maybe you're not seeing them. I feel like they're self-made obstacles and it's a lot of worry. It's a lot of doubt. And these are the, the obstacles that you're making. Um, anxiety, you know, not trusting your intuition, not trusting yourself. Um, there could even be secrets, you know. There could be secrets that you're unaware of. Um, and these are the obstacles, which they shouldn't be, because I do feel a lot of love here. Um, you were born to create card number 50 um, I feel like you you are like this egg you see this egg that's like kind of emanating this light I think that you really inspired this person um, emotionally I think they they were kind of closed off and you inspired this person to have emotions, okay? Maybe they didn't really have a lot of emotions. And I feel like you brought this out in them. You brought the light out in this person. I feel like they were, they were a dark person, maybe. Maybe you felt that. Maybe you felt that they had a life that you yourself did not. Um, maybe you had a good life and then this person had a life that they didn't want to speak of because it was probably not very good. And the compassion you felt for this person, I felt, I feel like you were a, a strong friend before you were even a lover and this person felt that support and it's like you cracked open this egg within them and they started to have dreams they started to have hopes again of could they have you know this good life because i feel like they they didn't they didn't have a good life so i don't know what's blocking this it feels like hesitation. It feels like a lot of burdens. So be aware that this person, they still love you. They still want to marry you. They're constantly thinking about you. They see you as the light in their life. But for some reason, you're not seeing it because they feel like they're hiding it from you. And I don't know why they're doing that. I really don't know why they're doing that. It really doesn't make sense. It's like they're in prison. Uh, I don't think literally, but it feels like it. It's weird. Okay, so let's do a yes, no. So think of your question. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, the answer is yes. Okay, pile number six. So should you wait for this person or should you move on and look for new opportunities? We'll also do a yes, no at the end um, if you're interested.
Okay, you've got Ecclesiastic. You've got the King of Cups. You've got the Six of Swords. You've got the Queen of Swords. And you've got Be Without Malice. Okay. So, oh goodness. Okay, if you're the feminine here, I think that you have a side, a dark side, okay? And maybe you're aware of it. Um, maybe sometimes you can get a little rowdy. I feel like um, if someone disappoints you, if someone angers you, I feel like um, sometimes you go off on people and you retaliate against people, okay? See the way she's kind of pointing the stick at you? Um, and, and this sword also is up and ready. It's sharp. It's sharpened. It's been sharpened. So I feel like... <clears throat> You really have to weigh your actions. Be watchful of what you do. When I feel like this person, they might have hurt your feelings. They may have angered you. They may have disappointed you. And naturally, you want to respond. Okay? You want to respond. And you being the divine person that you are, you decided to, well, I'm just getting the hell out of here, okay? With the Six of Swords, you said, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I am just going to get my shit and get out of here, okay? And I feel like those actions are good. That's what you should be doing. And try not to... It's okay to have that shadow, <clears throat> that shadow side because I feel like you need that shadow side to protect you, okay? But it's not conducive to really manifesting love. And I feel like, don't laugh, but I think this person loved you. They really, really loved you. They wanted to marry you. And whatever you did scared this person and they had to go away because they were scared of you literally i it's crazy i mean if you're a feminine like for you to scare a man away that's pretty powerful um what is it that you did to this person did you message them or i feel like you did something and Maybe that's just the way you are. Maybe you're very, very truthful. And the truth can hurt sometimes. Um, and I think this person, although they loved you and they wanted to marry you, they, they had to go away. Um, or maybe you sent them away. Okay? Some of you, I think, sent them away. Maybe you're aware of that. Maybe you're aware of... It's probably just your spirit. Your spirit is heavy, okay? And people can feel that. And you probably regret, you know, sending this person away. If you did send them away, or your your energy, your energetic personality, like darkness, kind of push them away. And I feel like it could it could have blocked the growth between you and this person and you just went away. You said goodbye and you went away from this person. Um, but I still think they love you and I still think they want to marry you. I think you guys both are getting in touch with your your faith and you're like this person that can't be can't be held back okay um 
if this person tried to hold you down or maybe you felt like they were trying to hold you down you're just like out you're like goodbye goodbye because I think emotionally you're scared I think you're scared and that's why you poke at people or you yeah maybe it's these little comments you know and it doesn't it's not conducive to growth so work on that I think in 2020 you're gonna work on that your faith is getting stronger you're you're gonna realize that you're gonna be responsible in what you say what you do you don't want to be that person that's like full of malice and you know hurts other people so you're gonna let it go you're gonna let go of Reta retaliating against people and hurting them you're just gonna let go of that but I don't know if this is gonna work out with this person I don't know maybe just work on you for a bit so let's do your yes no number six okay so you got no number six so whatever you ask the answer is no so thank you so much for coming. If you would like something similar to this, um, then you can email me, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. My Etsy, um, I have readings over there. I have charms over there for sale. Um, I have little tarot bags that my mother makes. They're really cute. Um, I have lots of things over there. So if you wanna check out my Etsy, um, I also have a Patreon, and over on my Patreon, I have exclusive videos. It's only $5 a month, and you can ha access all of the videos right away. Once you pay that $5, you get access to, it's 20-something uh, videos. And in some of those videos, I use the Tarot of Sexual Magic, which is, um, it's, it's nude you know there's nude pictures in there if you like that I can't do that on YouTube anymore so I've done that over on my patreon so go check it out it's only five dollars a month you can cancel it once you watch all the videos you don't have to keep it forever but I do put new videos out there um, all the time so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe so you'll get notified the next time I post a video and you can hop right on and um, see it. Also, I go live. I go live um, every now and then. So if you do have subscribed and notifications turned on, then it will tell you when I'm live and you can come on and maybe I'll pull a free card or so for you. If you have a question live, I do that quite often. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that you have a great year and uh, I hope everything works out for you. So love and light and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.